Hey everybody, it's NCP. Just uh, relaxing here. Can't do much right now, uh, basically because we're having some work done in the house. But uh, one thing I'm doing is a 3D printing mask. And the plan is to give these to people that need them. Now I'll put the link below to where I got the STL files for and uh, how to do it. So I'm not going to say either way anything about it, but I'll also do a time lapse of the finished thing and I'll show how the pieces fit together if they do. This is the first one I'm printed. I'm printing a PLA Plus. So we'll see, but there's a lot of people that need masks and can't get it. And with this you can cut up a regular mask or you can use some other filter material or media and um, go ahead and make your own mask. So this will take one medical mask and make it into six by putting a little plug in there, the little ring. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll post a link below, like I said, the files and the research and the company and all that that came up with the STL. It's, but I'm going to print a bunch of these up and give them out to friends and people that don't have supplies for the, uh, you know, the virus, coronavirus. So I'll go ahead and, uh, you know, edit this and, uh, like I said, I'll add the finished print and the time lapse and all that stuff. And I'll be back in a few minutes, as far as you know. About four hours for me. <laughs> but I'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay, everybody, it's NCP. We're continuing the video. Went ahead and made the mask. Um, hold on. First, it's for a reason. That's what I printed it with. Um, I've had really good things with this filament. In fact, I've been able to go a couple weeks without printing and the filament didn't break from being unspooled on the printer. So that was good. Um, just for the sake of demonstration, I put a, uh, a um, paper towel in there for the filter. Which, and it's basically it's about two and a half inches or about two inches uh, square. So you can cut up the, a regular mask and put it in there. Now, this is paper towel. I'll put a link to that below for a paper towel study saying that it is not good. <laughs> but it, you'll just have to see. Um, you can add a little more efficiency to paper towel by adding one. I think it gives a 10% a more collection for a size 3.0 virons or micron uh, particles or viruses. I believe the coronavirus is 0 0.01, so <laughs> smaller. But, <clears throat> you know, hey, it's better than nothing. But you actually take a medical mask, you can cut those into squares, and get like six masks out of it. This doesn't fit me very well. Uh, fits the life just fine. You'd have to take and uh, I don't know, heat gun it. Um, I'm looking for some weather stripping and put it on here. Um, I don't know where it's at, so I'll have to find it or buy some more before I give these out. But basically, you just wrap, uh, you plug the, um, the, 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 sorry, a lot going on here. And the noise and banging is I'm having a roof put on because what else to do when you, you know, got laid off, you know, spend money you don't have. Anyway, that's done. Um, this piece here pops out and you just wrap the filter around it. And these are reusable and you can sterilize all this with alcohol and everything or whatever you want. Um. I don't know how it holds up the UV light. I really don't, but I'll figure that out later. But I just got a paper towel in there to show how it would go together and use the regular material. Um, I'll put a link below to a study uh, from a filter company that shows what filters what and how good it is. And I guess it's easier to catch, or harder to catch, a 3 micron particle than a 0 0.01. So they list different materials, but this is a paper towel. So it's all the... Uh, data I really have other than it's better than nothing. I believe this would stop uh, droplets like a sneeze. Um, <clears throat> you have to do what you got to do but if you were to go out and buy a, well what I would use and you know I'll maybe I'll order some but well, ladies, I get a, a ultra HEPA vacuum bag and cut that up and put that in here and that that'd be ultra HEPA so that that's good or true HEPA I forget what she does. Anyway, really good. Um, I would use vacuum cleaner bags myself. If I couldn't go to the store and buy a furnace filter that's like HEPA 
and just stack a couple layers. Um, you can look on the site I'm put below about it. I'll also link to the uh, people who created this mask and um, I'll give you the STLs from their site because they keep revising it a little bit. So you have the you can print your own and they're reusable. And like I said, this is printed at 100%. Um, little map there. That's the size of it. I don't know. So whatever it works out to be, but it, my nose, my nose hits the inside here. If I push it on all the way now, once I get the weather strip around there, probably not. You know, you could use any closed cell foam. Um, I'm sure I packed them here. I could make some from stuff I bought and uh, hot glue it in because you want to seal there. Or like I said, you heat up the match or a lighter or a heat gun and just mush it to your face. Not you know, don't don't put on this molten plastic, but make it melt. You know, I guess. You know, I don't know, but. This is what we've done, and I'm going to be giving these out to the healthcare workers. And, uh, but more importantly, first off, my neighbors. Uh, I got some that are working in the medical field. <clears throat> and then our friends that work in the medical field. And it takes about six hours, well, four to six hours, depending. This one took six hours, um, because I printed it too high density. Um, I printed this one at like 35%, I think you need like 25% different walls in there but there's no pinholes through it that you see light or anything so it's good so there you go you could, you could bear thing it or whatever to seal it if you want like nail polish I don't know anything but I, I don't have any problems this you no know, pinholes on my prints or anything my, my I've got it kind of dialed in and this needs to be sanded and finished but this is basically I just want to show you guys a mask you guys get printing these um, so that's pretty much it, this is the key. And um, I'll put the uh, file somewhere in here. Maybe I already did it, I don't know if that's how you edit this. Of uh, the printer printing it, uh, two pieces. And like I said, they just fit one here. Oh yeah, actually, pull apart. They come apart. I just put the paper on there. And that's just pressed in, press it in. It's not uh, beveled or anything. They just press in wherever. And that's how it goes in together. I'll probably push out the front. Yeah, you can push it either way. But like I said, I just put it on like that. I mean, it kind of form fit because I had it in there all night. Just like that. Like this one hand. There, that's it. So that's all you gotta do. Alright, this is NCP. You guys have a great day. Stay safe.